Okay, so basically what I'm doing, and if you've listened to my other videos, it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but I'm going to anyways. Um, so basically this is, reading is going to be for the earth sign, and that's going to be um, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And I'm going to pull four cards individually for each sign, and then I'm going to do also a general spread here. Now this is going to be for, again, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm not going to timestamp anything because it's going to just have everything put together. Like a general energy, I might use your four cards to the general spread, um, you know, just because there might be messages there. Uh, sometimes I may have a message from the other side. One of my things. I know I've got cut up about that before, but hey, you know what? I'm not holding back. Whatever comes, comes. All right. Uh, please like, share, and comment. I am still going to do individual readings. Uh, they may be shorter. Um, my voice is really strong now, thanks to the universe, thanks to God, Creator, uh, and also Mother Earth and the doctors that participated. So. Basically here, um, I'm going to shuffle now and then I'm going to spread and uh, pull four cards for each sign, uh, that each earth sign, and then I'm going to shuffle again, cut, and that will be the general cards. Okay, so messages for the earth signs. Okay, so we're going to start with Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, can't, oh, two of them here, Capricorn. Sometimes it depends on how I feel. Just because the cards fall out doesn't mean I need to take them. Capricorn. All right, this is Capricorn's pile. And this is going to be Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. And there's your pile. And then... This is going to be Taurus. Okay, so there's your little pile. So I'm going to put them all together again and shuffle them three times, cut again, and we'll go ahead and start laying the cards. Come on, these are so slippery. I have to shuffle them this way, they're so slippery. <laughs> Okay, what are the messages? Messages for the Earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. All right, so I shuffled them a little more than three times. Spirit always guides. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we've got the nine of pentacles reversed. Okay, and what crosses you is the Seven of Pentacles. Lots of Earth energy, which is yours. What's below you is the King of Wands. What's behind you is the Ace of Wands. What's above you is the Death card. And what's before you is the Knight of Cups. Mm, something beautiful, I feel, is coming your way. But uh, I, I feel like there's a little bit of a dance going on here before we actually see what we want to see here. So what I got here is perhaps there's a relationship with uh, a Scorpio or, um, a, you know, another water sign. And also I'm picking up fire energy. Uh, I'm also feeling here that um, things have not been the best. Uh, perhaps some of you are actually uh, dating another earth sign um, or maybe they have a sun moon i mean a moon rising uh in earth but i really feel like that this person sometimes is quite cocky uh i just feel like they haven't always been the best verbally i feel like they're very interested in you but i feel that they want a sense of control okay and um there are there are things that are beginning for you with fire signs and water signs anyways and so um, I just feel like you need to hold in on there and, you know, I guess bring in this new, bring in this, this transformation that's happening in regards to love. 
okay? So I feel like there's something going on here with fire. I'm getting a lot of fire, okay? Now, it may have, um, uh, it may have transformed in love, or it will, I feel, transform in love. Some of you also have something going on with a Scorpio. Uh, but the death card, um, I don't feel, I, I just feel like this has got something to do with transforming uh, a love relationship. And I feel like it's going to happen for you. Just patience, I feel, that you need here. Um, this Knight of Wands, I mean, this King of Wands that I'm looking at, I feel like here there's a connection here with that Seven of Pentacles. And the reason things are upside down is this fire sign or just this energy, female or male, because I read duality, uh, is mad, angry, okay? And, um, and I think that maybe there has been you know, with the Ace of Wands behind you now, there was something that started with perhaps this fire sign, but now it's kind of, it's got to go through its transformation or it's just completely going to end because it's new beginnings or endings. So um, what, what I was getting to here is... Um, I feel that I'm not supposed to say anything at the moment. <laughs> not yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at Capricorn's cards. Here we've got the Knight of Swords. So this could be an Aquarius. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or it could just be your own energy or somebody coming in your life really quick or left really quick. Let's look at the next card. Well, it's the Wheel of Fortune. So actually, this is good for you, Capricorn. I feel like, you know what? You've got something that's new beginning here. Um, whether it's an old relationship that's in a new energy now, or you've just met somebody new. And that's what I was feeling with the Knight of Cups. Okay, now you do have the Magician upside down, uh, reversed. Okay, and the Magician represents Mercury. So here communication's really important pay attention how you're coming off with your energy same thing pay attention to the others who are how they're coming off with you because when i get the magician reversed i'm feeling like there's a bit of negativity in this energy here and that they like to try to fool you uh and and with words lots of promises and nothing nothing comes together here but here it ends with the Ten of Pentacles. And it's one of the best cards in the suit. Okay. Which means family. Now, this could mean that somebody's intruding from family into your relationship or wants to intrude. Or it could be an ex that just suddenly has been appearing for, and you haven't been getting the truth about it. And the Ten of Pentacles, you know, that, that represents family. It represents being happy, united. So somebody doesn't want you happy. Somebody doesn't want you united with your loved one. I think you need to bypass this reversed magician, okay? All right, now we're going to go off into Virgo. And we're looking at the Knight of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is something I feel like is being hidden. But let's see what it is, if we can figure it out. But with the Ace of Pentacles, I believe that your own spiritual energy, your own spiritual power is going to open that up. You might be a little bit disappointed, okay? But you'll be okay. Also, some of you have an opportunity to meet an earth sign. Begin something new with a very beautiful, lively spirit. Um, they're wearing the armor, so they are quite protective of not the just themselves, but you too. But also too, they don't want to reveal themselves. So I feel like you may already know them, you may not, but I feel like they don't want to reveal themselves. But the Ace of Pentacles is going to make sure that happens. And so is the Queen of Cups. So this also could be involved, again, we had Scorpio here, but any water sign, it can be Pisces, it can be Scorpio, it can be uh, Cancer. But here we've got the Five of Cups. And see, this is where I feel like that message I said that you might be getting in 
towards, you know, the rest of May, the middle to the end of May, or even parts of June, might have disappointments over uh, love, like five days of feeling down and, you know, washed ashore. You've got three cups down, but you've got two of them behind you. So right now you're only looking at what has crashed and what has caused you pain, but there's two here that you still have hope. There's two cups here still standing that are behind you. You're not looking. So, so, so you're reacting on some of this too. Um, but I really feel like it's all going to turn out okay. And then we've got um, Taurus. So let's see what we got here. Taurus, so you've got the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is great because that represents your wishes come true. That represents just... You know, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's uh, before you. You've got the um, emperor. So some of you might be involved with Aries. Um, maybe your your um, maybe your sun, Taurus, but your moon or your rising is Aries. Um, there's a lot of Mars energy here, though. Um, let me see here. This person might not. You might have been so excited to be with them. Okay, and you're, I think you're trying to show them the way, but there's a lot of illusions and deception here, a lot of daydreaming, and look at this card. You've got the tower card. Oh, oh, okay, okay. These false dreams or these false illusions are going to wake you up, definitely, Taurus, or whoever's looking in on this. All you cross-watchers who are watching the earth signs, here we've got Mars. We've got the Tower. We've got the Seven of Cups. So somebody may have been leading you the wrong direction here. Uh, really sorry to hear that. But um, I feel like the universe, I feel like Spirit's trying to wake you up on this. Okay? You, and you're definitely going to get it. You're definitely going to see the person as they are. Maybe you are already. And here the Emperor is, you know, it's really a nice car. But here in the position it's in... You've had good times, you've had bad times, but this person I feel like has holding a lot of childhood anger, okay, that has been verbally, perhaps even physically abusive to you. Had to tell that. But you know what, Tor, a lot of you Torrents, you're going to, even if this has to do with work or family, you're going to, you're just going to move right through it. You're going to be just fine. But you've got lessons in it. You've got karma, okay? Your karma, their karma. <laughs> Karma. All right. Thank you so much for listening, Aries. I really um, share, like, comment. Uh, again, I'll be with you. Hopefully, I can get to uh, the live. Um, I just I haven't been able to take a lot of new clients right now because so many of my regular ones have been coming through. And you know, I don't I don't just do readings. I also do healing work. And so, yeah, I'm grateful. And I'm grateful to be able to have a voice today to give you these messages. Lots of love and blessings. Take care.